To every Ebonian at home and in the diaspora, the governor of Ebony State, engineer Dr. David Nweze Umahi, has changed the face of governance in Nigeria. His developmental strides in all sectors, be it social, economic, education, health, human empowerment, among others, have repositioned Ebony as the most developed state. Upon assumption of office in 2015, Governor Umahi aggressively embarked on both structural and human development of the state, with decayed infrastructures such as bad roads and poor health facilities, among others. Ebony State Governor embarked on road construction, including the construction of flyovers in major locations in the capital city. Governor Umahi also introduced measures to better the lives of the ordinary person through empowerment. The governor of Ebony State also facilitated the improvement of health services and education. This feat, the governor and the people expect the chairman of the 13 local government areas to emulate in their areas. With the election of the 13 local government areas chairman, the challenge became enormous as the footsteps of their boss, the executive governor, must be reprinted in their domains. To Chief Oko Enim, the young, vibrant chairman of Afipo North local government area, the job was taxing, but he vowed to perform in line with the dictates of his principal, the executive governor of Ebony State. Chief Oko Enyim promised to toe the line of the governor in the administration of Afipo North, which above all helps on transparency and prudent management of resources. He has this to say about the challenges before him. We started doing it like the one you have seen, this army in the road, some course. The big road. The big road. The one you pass, you pass now, it's so coming. It's on course. More than one kilometer. The, that one is about four kilometers. This one is about um, eight kilometers. This Ami Yime Road is about eight kilometers. Eight kilometer. Ring Road, because you pass it to come to the other road again this way. It's like a ring road. This one terminated somewhere, and you take the other one to, and to terminate in this other road to the main road. So on the one of Ami is up to eight kilometers. The one of UB is four. The one of um, Mungbom, Mungbom. this uh, Mungbom, Echerangbom Echerangbom. road is about two kilometers. Two kilometers. Yeah. What we're trying to do now is to see that um, we um, follow the footsteps of His Excellency, the governor, in reviving the original policies of the government states. By seeing that all this uh, part of school children is being captured very seriously in Africa. What's your don't want don't toilet in Ohisu Ward A, Opa? It's your Ohisu Ward A. About 10 rooms more than 10. Two sides, let's see, I've to commission with motorized ball. We've we'll seen that all the ball rooms in our area. We don't, we don't, if you, if you don't, there's a threat. We, we came in when there was no work. What we did, actually, was a ball who dug by the, my, my, my predecessor. When I came, I revived it and made sure there's the whole uh, offices. Has water. We it to the big offices and everything. To begin, Chief Oko Enyim began the construction of a one kilometer Ihe Ndukwe road. Work is ongoing with standard drainages. He has also installed a 500 kVA transformer to energize Ihe and other surrounding villages. On what the chairman has been able to achieve, a member of the Eto Ruling Council of Amasuri, Chief John Uche, commended the chairman for embarking on the projects. The chairman of Ikono local government should not come from a very wealthy, prepared and a renowned town. What we're having today is distinct from what we've been having from people who came from Africa. Left for me, he who is on a valley of such 
does not have demarcation, just as the governor had no demarcation coming down to Amasri to pick a chairman. He will record, as I am convinced, one of the best local government chairmen ever existed in Africa or not. Look at the, the, the damn pouring of uh, civilization to us through the man who was rejected, except God. Aligning herself on what the chairman has done to provide to his people and many more, the coordinator, Amasiri Development Center, Mrs. Ngozi Ezugo, expressed satisfaction for the streetlights in Amasiri and the Ihie Ndukwe Road, the shopping mall, and renovation of the LG Secretariat. His Excellency has really done greatly. And my chairman is following with his footsteps. I will not delay from them. I will follow suit. Conducting our crew round the shopping mall, the chairman, Chief Oko Enyim, has this to say. It's a modern plaza building to be termed after the wonder working government of the White States. Yeah. It's a modern plaza we are well to use to treat his good working. It's a wonderful work to do in the White States. It's, it's Dave Romain, modern plaza. So that's why you see it, you are building to the text of his own personality. Yes, if you go around the entire states, uh, if, if, even the Tafel Federation, at least see a plaza that is being built, the plaza, an office, and a confidence. And I think have been modernized by the is, is the governor of the United States. It will be so, so, so bad to us if we allow the market without business opportunity to reduce the traffic that is in that major town. Another project that has endeared the minds of the people is the reconstruction of the abandoned chief magistrate quarters that was raised 10 years ago. And so how we, we are, we are mo <laughs> modernizing it. The aim of this is to uh, make sure that His Excellency, if he's coming for the completion of all these projects, to be happy that uh, we, His Excellency, borrowed from his text of life. The chairman also promised to complete the project in record time to provide accommodation for judicial officers. And it, that makes Africa not to have resident chief magistrates. They only come to go. And that leads justice. For us to make sure that justice is, uh, uh, decisions is not delayed, we resolve to reconstruct the chief magistrate's quarters so that they can be staying to dispense justice. That's the major aim of doing this. Because our honorable governor is a man that loves law. He doesn't play with law. So that's the reason why we brought from it. It's okay. For us to dispense justice and facilitate it as well, we have to reconstruct the human rights. So that they, so they, so they, so they will not have reason why they will not sit to, to dispense justice and justice. It's all right. Already 80% completion. You can see the windows are there, the protectors are there. Well, what, the, what is left now is just the tiling. And then the you can see the ceiling. Painting. That's all just we are left. So it's 80% completion. Another road project being embarked upon by the chairman is the Ibi or Ziza Road, where work has commenced and drainages are being constructed. The President General Ibi Oziza, Mr. Gabriel Uro Ewa, and the Councillor Ibi Oziza Ward, Honorable Mrs. Chinyere Egu, commended the Chairman for the Ibi Oziza Road. As you know, you hear the man here, you have to do it. Oh, my God, I don't know. 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 I ne kele won koma ono lebe hu gbanya okodigo onyo chichi gabatare ne retare yo zo ankibi onyo mai ai so onyo mai gba ayu me yo mi ayu zo a na ai hoda no me wuwe ai ma o basine lu makozia gozi konde ono rorwa the ibios is award in particular are grateful to our dear governor jine dey voice ma really seeing that the construction of the ibio as you can see it is ongoing and we thank His Excellency. We also thank our Executive Chairman, Rebel Bonio Kenyu, for initiating the project. And we know in no distant time he's going to complete it. He be us his award and say, Bravo! 
For administrative convenience and proper documentation, the LG Open Registry with functional ICT facilities has been built. The VIP toilets built at Upa in Ohisu community by the council's boss received positive comments by some residents of the area. It's a sign of good democracy. Okay. And we've been using the toilet since ever it has been built up yeah. to now. All right. So we're even praying that government may still come and do more for us. Thank you very because much. When government is doing something like this, we can be able to put the, the person back to sit. Thank and you. also appreciate that we have a good government. Thank so you. we thank him for what he did for us. In their separate opinions, some stakeholders of our people local government area have words of commendation for the local government chairman. Chairman? He's a young, bashful young man. You know, leadership is not boss. Leadership is not boss. Don't, don't go to the market and buy it. You may perhaps develop it, depending on your exposure. I think he's keen to be a good chairman. He's keen to be a good chairman. He is doing his best to make sure that the governance programs are pushed forward. Well, I have not just been hearing about what he has been doing. I have also been seeing what he is doing. And I am happy he is keen into the dreams of the governor. So he will look happy for the entire Ebony State. And I have nothing else but to encourage him to continue moving in that direction. To continue ensuring that he pulls the people along to understand the dreams of the governor so that everybody will key in to ensure that the governor develops the state to the extent that he wants to do it. There will be transactions, there will be business transactions. People that are looking for where to put their goods will come and now make a people a hub of where they are uh, dropping their goods for all the commercial activities. So they, the shopping mall the local government chairman is doing is very, very good and it's also very encouraging. I also want to commend the local government chairman. Chief Enyu. He is also doing very well. He is following the footsteps of his master in all the projects he's doing. And he's also doing solid projects. We are all human beings. We have our different follies. People must talk. It is in, in I mean, in, this is politics. People must criticize. But don't listen to them. Once you are focused and you're doing the right thing, you keep doing it. Speaking at the sideline during a peace and stakeholders meeting, they said the chairman was towing the line of the governor. We are proud of him too because uh, like the father, like the son, he's doing very wonderfully well. And all the coordinators we need the local government, we are giving him all the support in every tribe. We are very grateful and we say thank you and thank you and thank you. The chairman in his capacity as a local government chairman is the best so far. We had some chairmen about two or three before him. And they, it's not as if I want to compare notes, but he's doing visible projects. We have seen his plaza, we have seen his, uh, uh, what do they call it? We have seen the the roads is building, the rural electrification project and the whole scattered everywhere. It is there for all to see. It is not about saying he's doing well, he's doing well. He's doing well and everybody knows that. Some members of the State Executive Council tasked the chairman to maintain the temple he was going. Afipo North, with his human capital potentials and solid mineral base, has a chairman who promises to follow the footstep of the governor on the quality of work at the shopping mall christened David Umahi shopping mall and the reconstruction link of the chief magistrate quarters, the contractor handling the projects reacts. What we have here are solid pillars. We have used 16 mm rods for all the pillars, the beams, 16 mm. We have done the we have done the, the 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 casting to one is to one is to one. I mean, one bag is to four trees of uh, uh, four headpans of sand and four headpans of chipping. That's very strong. What you are seeing now is the we are we are by tomorrow. If we have come in by tomorrow, we find out that we already decking the second floor. And once we finish that, the next thing we are going to do is the roofing. 
So we are expecting that by the second week of December, yeah, we will be completed. The Director General, Ebony Broadcasting Corporation, in his remarks, challenged the chairman to do more. Coming to the local government of uh, the executive chairman of our people, not uh, local government, His Excellency, the governor, have always referred to them as uh, uh, mini governors in their various uh, local government. And the way he has been running the state, he has not been interfering with the activities of uh, the local government. And that is why I can as well proudly say that the executive chairman of uh, Africa, not local government, is also following suit. If you go to Africa, not the executive chairman is currently embarking on a project which has to do with a, a plaza, a U form plaza, just beside the, the council. He has renovated the uh, council and so many other things he has been able uh, to do as long as that people not uh, local government is concerned. And that is why I will strongly advise him to ensure that he does not derail from the policies and programs of His Excellency, the Governor, which is his own boss and also our own boss. Some staff of the council also bear their minds on the projects. The project is a very big one and it's worth stimulating because it will give a lot of people an opportunity to have their shop and carry on their businesses. Both for those that have businesses and others that like lawyers because if you look at the the, the shops, so many amenities are there. You have the warehouse, you have the office, you have the convenience, and where you even have bookshelf for lawyers, doctors. Not only for those that will be doing day-to-day uh, uh, -day transactions like marketing, buying and selling, but also for those that will want to have their offices here. It's something very nice. It's nice that uh, I, yeah. Government is has such, a, has such a thing in mind. It is it will give him himself a, a first look that is uh, building this type of thing for African people. Appreciating also the efforts of the chairman in towing the line of the governor, Al Haji Isa Bako, the leader of House Fulani, and a clergyman, Reverend Dr. Michael Oyari charged the chairman to step down to the rural communities what the governor was doing to better the lives of Afibo people. Our local government chairman, the Honorable Chief Obonio Kenyon, is also doing wonderful things, taking care of the local government, and all of them are taking the same pattern. So we really thank God for the what the governor is doing, and we are praying that God should continue to strengthen him, give him the grace. And there's nobody in Africa who will not say, who will say that they have not done nothing. He has done a great work in the land of Africa. Very wonderful man. I must be very sincere to you because there is no program of the governor that once they get it from the state that he will not bring it down to the local uh, uh, level. And he has been carrying everybody along. No stakeholder as far as people zone is concerned that is not is not carried. He has not been carried along by the executive chairman of Africa, uh, not local government. Especially the Muslim community. There is nothing that the local government chairman is going to do or is going to execute or is going to implement without involving the Afibo Muslim community. So he has been doing wonderfully well and he has also been following the train, the train change of the executive governor of Ebony State. With the solid mineral potentials of the LG, if fully tapped, the economic base of the area will definitely be better for the good of the people.